Cafe 360 is officially closed tonight, a place once known for its vibrant nightlife and late night hours. The closure comes after the cafe voluntarily surrendered its liquor license last week, a move that comes after months of scrutiny from local authorities. The cafe had been embroiled in a battle to retain its license after a series of incidents, including a fatal shooting in March that resulted in the death of 21-year-old Theodore Brown. The shooting, which occurred inside the bar, led to increased pressure from the community and city officials to address safety concerns. I'm just really concerned about the violence. I'm, I'm sad that it shut down due to the violence, but hopefully that we can make the community more safe. In the wake of the shooting, Louisville Alcoholic Beverage Control issued a criminal activity nuisance violation against Cafe 360 for allegedly selling alcohol past permitted hours. The cafe voluntarily suspended its extended liquor license for six months, but the scrutiny continued. In June, the city pushed for the emergency suspension of the cafe's liquor license, citing ongoing safety issues. It's scary because, I mean, there's lots of people that live around here. It just seems like in the last few years, things have heightened up here on Bardstown Road, unfortunately. They had a good run for a while. Unfortunately, things just kind of got out of hand on the block. Cafe 360's closure marks a significant change for the Highlands community, which has seen several other businesses face similar challenges in recent years. Sally Bird owns a business across the street. Bird is left wondering what will come next for the iconic corner spots. The Highlands is great. It's great for small business. Somebody will either buy that building or lease that from whoever buys it and open a little spot. So, you know, it's good to see things change sometimes. Ben Reno Weber, who represents the Highlands on Louisville's Metro Council, said in a statement, I think we're seeing a lot of momentum in the right direction right now. While I am always sad when a business closes, I am excited about all of the outreach we are getting about that and other spaces along Bardstown Road. There are some exciting announcements to come shortly. So far, the owner has not commented on the closure. In the Highlands, I'm Randall Cam, WOKY News.